It's time to turn our eyes to Mississippi State. What do you need to see from this group after a big win? More importantly, can we keep up the rate of play that we saw Saturday? You know, Mississippi State struggles are apparent. They're losing the battle on fourth down, time of possession, and they've given up way too many passing yards. And opponents are nearly flawless in the red zone. Their defense is leaking. Matter of fact, coming into the game this past Saturday, South Carolina had arguably the worst running attack in the entire SEC, and they managed to put 144 on them. The way I see it is, it's time for Jace McClellan and Roydell Williams to eat. Steve Brown, talk to us about this game, what you need to see. Give me a score and a player of the game, then we'll go to Bo, Stephen and Smith, and Marvin. I just need to see that improvement and, and just continue the trend, trend. I mean, I'm talking about the offensive, defensive, special teams, and the attitude. That's what I want to see. I'm high on Terrion Arnold, and I'm glad that Blackshire is playing well. I'm just excited about seeing the growth. 28 to 3. Uh, I see that we coming back together uh, as one. I would like to see this defense play how we've been playing for the past, not these couple years, but the years before that. Stopping the run, breaking up passes. I expect for the run game to be there as well. I expect for these guys to have a great night running the ball. So I'm excited to see that. Bulldogs are kind of funny this year. They decided to change their identity at the beginning of season. Coach Arnett wanted to make it ground and pound like Mississippi State of old, but the problem is – they have air raid personnel, so it hasn't really worked out too well for them. So they scratched that and have gone back to the air raid. They seem to be having an identity problem. What problems do you see from Will Rogers, who is still that dude, and then uh, the hot receiver in the SEC, but Dietrich Griffin? How do you see this playing out? Their state always plays Alabama tough. So the one thing I want to see is the continuation of the second half that Bama played against Ole Miss, a continuation of that. Defense being physical, offense, no Tommy Reese continuing to grow as a coordinator, uh, J.D. Milo doing his thing out there. As far as a player of the game is concerned, defensively, I think this could really be a game for Chris Braswell. Mm -hmm. Dallas mm -hmm. cook. He, he's cooking, and with Dallas cooking, here comes Braswell. This could be a huge game for Chris Braswell on the opposite side of Dallas Turner. That boy is good. So I'm going to go Chris Brads with defensively. <clears throat> Offensively, I think Alabama's starting to kind of find that next receiver. Keep your eyes on Jalen Hale. Mm -hmm. He had a game against Ole Miss. Two catches, 63 yards, did something there. He is starting to pass up some guys a bit there on that wide receiver room. So keep your eyes on that kid. Got complimented by Saban. Milro seems to really like him. Malachi Moore seems to really like him. We've already seen one receiver from Texas be special. That was when Jalen Waddle came through here. Mm -hmm. So here comes Jalen Hale from Longview, Texas. Keep your eyes on that kid. You know, Coach Saban said, make me play you when he was talking about the quarterback, but I can't help but think that he issued the same challenge to other positions, and Jalen Hill took that seriously. We saw what he did Saturday. Maybe it's a, a preview of what's to come. I love how he high points that ball. I don't think anybody can challenge him. If you look closely, guys, he reminds me of a young DJ Hall. I will say this. Burden is playing his tail off, and we, we're eating crow because I wasn't up on him, but he's showing us that he is a leader, and I'm, 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 I'm appreciating everything about that. Marvin Constant, you have the last voice in all of this. What do you see? How do you feel going into Mississippi State? And give us your score and player of the game. Listen, man, first and foremost, oh my you God. cannot lose to a team from the state of Mississippi. We've already taken care of one. Now we have to take care of the other. The state of Mississippi is the armpit of the United States. Wait, wait a minute. Can't lose to them, okay? Still they're, here, they're like, sir. Still here. They're like that yellow, <laughs> they're like that yellow stain in your armpit on your white t-shirt. That, that's the state of Mississippi. You cannot lose to them. So in order for this to happen, we need to see the defense continue to take those steps. I want to see this defense in mid-season form by the end of this game because we know what's coming over the next few weeks. So I think the score is going to be 38-10. Play the game. I'm going back with my guy, Dallas. Turn on! Dallas, mm. keep doing what you do, Dallas. Yeah. Spencer Rattler exposed Mississippi State's defense over the middle. Alabama's speed at wide receiver and athleticism at tight end could spell trouble for those linebackers and safeties. So my play of the game – is going to be Amari in the black. Alabama wins 28 to 7.